back here at the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, and we're back to green flag racing with Will Power in front of Justin Wilson, Alex Tagliani, Frank Pereira, and Paul Tracy. That's your top five. And again, on the restart, Power nails it. Perfect timing coming out of that hairpin. A great run right now. Paul Tracy down the inside. Time that one perfectly past Frank Pereira coming out of the hairpin. Tracy says, rookie, I'm coming through. Remember, this is Paul Tracy's possible last race in the IndyCar. It's his last race for the Foresight Racing Team. He's sort of been put on hold since the beginning of the season with the merger. And he said that he would love to be in the IndyCar from this point forward, and he's hoping that will happen starting at Indianapolis. The truth about Paul Tracy is he has always been known as a very aggressive driver, to say the least. It would be a shame if he wasn't a part of the new joined union in the Indy Racing League. And Hopefully somebody will say they want to sign him and get him back in the race car. And there he is right now running in fourth. And boy, that bump right there, you can see it rattles your tooth. Well, it's a compression bump, and it's been there even when I was driving here, Marty. What it does is just put so much pressure on your spine and really jars your neck into your shoulders. When you finish this race, as Paul clips the wall with that right rear, spins the back of the car out just a little bit, recovers, though. Maybe he will get passed down the end of the straight. That's usually a loose speed coming out of here. But just to finish my thought on that last bump there, it just puts a Pressure on your spine, and man, it's hard on you. Here comes Pereira, is trying to take advantage of Tracy's mistake, and he lights him up, and he's gonna go on the runoff area. Now he's got two options there. He can turn, or he could go all the way through. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, and now he just spun off the right rear tire. Remember when he hit the wall? That's exactly what happened. The tire is flat now. Oh, no! Almost got run over by, uh, it looked like Roberto Moreno. And you know he's not going to drive that thing back there slow, that's for sure. What he ended up doing was breaking the outside of the rim when he clipped the inside of the wall in turn 11. Now you can see he's coming down. The tire is already flat. If you look at his right rear tire, the left tire, rear tire for us, it is already flat when he's trying to make the maneuver going into the turn. And that's why he's locking up the front wheel. Now he knows it's flat once he spins it around. And he'll be lucky if he doesn't lose a lap on this. There he is trying to nurse his way back around to pit lane. And had he known it was flat, it would have been better for him to continue to work his way through the uh, run-through area there. You are allowed to do that as long as you do not gain positions. Meanwhile, let's check out what's going on back at the lead. It is still Will Power by 1.7 seconds over Justin Wilson right there. There is third, Alex Tagliani. Then Frank Pereira is fourth. And there is Frank Montagny as he has uh, moved in. And there is the number four making a very nice pass as uh, that's Nelson Philippe getting around. And he has now moved into the top five. There's Tracy in the pit lane. They're checking for other damage. He is definitely going to go at least one lap down. There's Philippe in the four car. And that's what's left of the tire on the right side of your screen. Well, you can see the rim is broken, and that then just depletes the air. The bead of the tire comes away from the rim at that point in time. There's no tubes in these tires, and the air just comes out of the tire, and that caused his problem going down the main street. Will Power. Native of uh, Toowoomba, Queensland, Australia, right now in control. And a bit of a surprise because throughout both qualifying sessions, it was Justin Wilson that was the class of the field. And he was driving so smooth, able to put the power down and drive the car without a problem. As we watch right now, Will Power seems to be stretching his lead over Justin Wilson just a little bit. And the thing that I always watch for, Marty, especially on a street course like we are here in Long Beach, California, is that look how easy he makes it look and all these drivers are running up front are just staying away from the wall just a little bit because they don't have to push it that hard. That tells you how well the race car is working. Oh, and we had a crash. That is uh, Marias, Mario Marias, as he has hit the wall hard. That's in uh, the exit of uh, turn one going into turn two by the looks of that. And looks like it wasn't even close. When you move the tire barrier as much as he did there, then uh, he wasn't dealing with inches. He was dealing with feet take a look at the replay you'll notice uh, we'll talk about those red striped tires in a moment oh man was that hard yeah he was not about ready to make it he just caught the uh, the tire barrier there to stop you from hitting the wall with the right hand side of his car here he goes right now just a little bit too much speed or he got caught on the outside either way he did not have the preferred line going in through the turn and um, this was the result of it Marias appears to be okay as he uh, unbuckles and 
climbs out of the car. Now, there you see the red Bridgestone tires. Let's talk a little bit about that, Scott. Well, because you see right now with the, the red that's on the sidewall here, there's a lot of tires out there. The black walls, we call them. They're the standard tire. They're a harder compound than what they did the red tire. And the red tire, this red sidewall that you see there on the Bridgestone Potenza is a softer compound that Bridgestone brings here. Now, a lot of drivers prefer this, but the tires might wear out just a little sooner than the hard tire. Now, the most important thing here today, though, is that the temperatures are not super hot, track is not super hot, and the red tires might just be the preferred tire, the fastest tire, and probably last the full fuel stint, Marty. And there is Paul Tracy back out on the track. He has shown in 20th and last position after that extended pit stop. Let's get more from Brienne. I spoke with Tracy's team. He said that he suffered a cut tire. They're not sure whether or not that was the result of some debris on the racetrack. But the good news is there is no other damage to his race car. And uh, look for some aggressive driving from the number three. Uh, well, it was cut. I'm not sure if it was cut or if it was broken. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say that's probably what he reported in, but let me just say that it was the wall. Yeah, I think it was the turn 11 wall that sort of did that damage. There is your top five, and of course, Paul Tracy has quite a bit of history here at the uh, Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. He's won four of these. In fact, his first win came here back in 1993, and he was driving for the captain, Roger Penske. Stay with us. We're coming right back to Long Beach.